Mr. Yeah. Scott, you've appeared in this courtroom for two previous cases, one with DNA results yes. that proved you were the father of a child and the other that proved you were not. Yes. Now you say you are here yet again yes. as the father of seven children with four different women to deny that you fathered child number eight with mother number five. Ms. Smith, you admit you cheated on Mr. Scott, but say you believe it was before you got pregnant. You argue that the only reason he's denying your daughter is because he can no longer control you. Furthermore, you claim <laughs> Mr. Scott scammed you into paying his travel costs when he visited you in Michigan, and you are asking the court to award you $1,500 for reimbursement of airline and lodging expenses. So, Mr. Scott, how did you meet Ms. Smith? Well, I met her on the website. You know, I was looking for love, and um, I went to a website, and um, I ran into, ran into Crystal. You know, four or five months into it, you know, it was started getting suspicious about certain things. You know, she gave me her voicemail, and I hear dudes in the background. I like, gave my voicemail past her because oh. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, true that. But then dudes are leaving voicemails to her, talking about, oh, you sexy. You, you had girls leaving voicemails girl on your phone stuff. and calling you. All you ain't right. You're supposed to do that if you have I a do man. Have dudes friends. are I do not. Have male well, dudes ain't supposed to leave messages talking about you sexy. And you ain't supposed and to be calling like other people. So hold on, with hold on, girl. hold on. This is before you ever met her. Yeah, this is before, but we talked every day. She we told me Smith. Seven, about me being so how Smith, doing was he honest with you about how many children he had? No, he was not. Yes, I was. I don't no, lie about my not. kids. I only thought so that he had five. you didn't know that Mr. Scott had two three-year-olds, two six-year-olds, no, a seven-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 13-year-old. She knew about all no, my kids. She knew I about only all knew my about kids. five kids. She knew about all my kids because all my kids was on my page. How long did this relationship go over cyberspace? It was like eight months. About eight eight months. months. Now, fast forward. You finally make arrangements to meet in person. Yes. Correct. Yes, we did. You go visit. Yes. We had a mutual agreement that we were going to pay half. I paid for the whole trip for him to come here the first time, and then that his, true. for his ride here. I paid for my here. own ticket to get there. No, he did She not. paid for me to come back. No, you did not. She did that. I paid she for pay all our food, she our hotels. You didn't have to pay uh, for the food. We were getting the, the food gas. from your job. I still had you to pay for it. You didn't have to pay for the food. He told okay. me that he was basically this big rich person from Hollywood. I ain't never said that. That he had a Hollywood. big house on the beach. That he had like six cars. He was taking pictures by different cars what? every day. Mm -hmm. Made himself, and he was making fun of people. They were on like assistance and stuff. Oh, <laughs> first of all, so I'm not, I don't even live in Hollywood. I never said I was rich. Yes, you I never did. said like that. Yes, said, you did. I'm an electrician. I have my own bills and I have my own place, so I had to pay my own bills. It, it, and I have kids, so for me, in order for me to come out there and pay all that stuff, heck yes, I had to stack all my stuff because I, I have kids. kids. Also, and so I this is what I did. Everything. I could have came out there the next month, but if I would have if I would have came to Michigan that next month, there wouldn't even been no situation right now because that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for something serious, so we got together to but make he... that happen. I could have came the next week. She so wouldn't have told you me no. You said you were looking for something serious. Something serious. Mm -hmm. Related. So that's why it took me eight months to get there because I was looking for something serious to make now, sure this is what it was. the last time you appeared in this courtroom, you said the exact same thing. So I want you to look at something that looks very familiar oh, to me. Oh wow! Check y'all out. Oh. Were you in love with? I wouldn't Mr. say it was Scott? love. On on the internet site that I met him on, he <laughs> um, wanted basically the same things I was looking for. So Miss Kalan, you find out you're pregnant. Uh huh. And then what? Um, he was happy. He said, was, yeah, uh, quote, I, unquote, oh, mommy, we're going to be a family. Your Honor, when he came so, to Michigan, he was calling me mommy. That's what we agreed and on. That's what I mean. His, I mean, his that was an agreement. No, we, we we want to be together. That's all it was. When that was he my was girl. actually in that Michigan, was my woman. his phone kept going off while we were at a restaurant. I'm not gonna lie, I was quite embarrassed by it because it was just loud ghetto music. This was after the fact and... that she cheated. <laughs> this is after the fact that she cheated. She's talking about. Okay, so let me go go back to the beginning. I went to Michigan. She did not even greet me. She didn't greet you. She yes, didn't get did. out the car, give me yes, no hug, no kiss. I didn't want to kiss you. She but was. I thought you all were in a relationship. I was in a relationship with him, but it was. We were she over the nervous. phone relationship. She was I was nervous. really nervous to meet him in nervous. person. She was After blushing. She was red 20 everywhere. minutes of being in, then I was more okay. But right when we first met him, he wanted to be on top of me, all over me. Like, give me a second to breathe. I'm like... That's my woman. Eight months. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Da -da, you know, so we get That's there. Why you got we, we go around her family. Everybody's like... That's why like, you got so many kids, because you always trying to jump. Give me a second to talk to you for a minute. To jump. Well, he just doesn't <laughs> have like a lot of kids. Uh, Mr. Scott, you also have a lot of women. We 
Yeah, and before, before, before that you had several women at the same time, and now yeah, are we yeah. adding Miss Smith get to, to the that mix? Point. Let's get to that point. So when yeah, I, let's get to when it. When I arrived in Michigan, she did not greet me at all. She took me amongst her family. Agreed. Everybody greeted me with love. It was like, hey, how's California? And whoop dee whoop dee whoop And is, is it nice out there? Is it sunny? I said, yes, it's nice out here, OK? So we go to her job. Everybody's questioning me about California. There's one guy in particular who does not say nothing because to me at all. nobody cares about This dude didn't look at me at all. I'm not stupid. I'm a very smart man. He had his head down. He was humble, just like this the whole time. He was scared uh -huh. to look at no, me. No, he was Because he knew something. No, he He must have did something wrong. So me being smart, I'm like, let me put two and two together. So we get back to the room. He texts her phone. She deletes his text message. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she deleted his text <laughs> message. Okay, so when I got home, I said, look, a universal cousin, look, I promise you, I'm not going to leave you. Just tell me what happened. She told me, I had sex with him, but it didn't last that long. That's what she said. Ooh. And oh. then she told me she had, I had sex with him right here. I did. Oh, so I, wait, wait, wait. But then recap, I knew him four years ago. Recap. You used reverse psychology. Yeah, and I said, I promise you, I won't leave you. Just tell me what happened. She said, he took advantage of me. We had sex right there, but it didn't last that long because I loved you. I did lie. She should have been a lot about that. If she didn't, if she loved me, and she didn't mean for it to happen, she would have told me right then and there, like, look, babe, I'm sorry, this has happened. I didn't mean for it to happen. At that point in our and relationship, we were already. She told me this we after did not I talk left. For so two she would have told me this before so I came. There wouldn't have been no situation. At the end of the day, she named the baby That's honestly. why we're here, is because you claim. He knows that it's that she was intimate with this gentleman and you at the same time. Of course she was. And she therefore, didn't even... you have doubt concerning the paternity of, of course, her child. Of course, she didn't even tell me. She named the baby Honesty Love. You admit that you cheated. I, I cheated on Marcel. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You admit that you cheated. I, I cheated on Marcel. It was only one time. It all takes is one time. Yes. She told me four or five different stories in one hour. So I said, like, two days later, I said, won't you give me the dude's number? Let me Marcel talk to the had dude. already had it the number. Two he hours. took it out of my phone before he left Michigan. No, I deleted her number, but she worked with him, right? So everybody's number at her job is, is, is on the board. It's on the board. I said, give me his number. It took her two and a half hours to give me his number. So you when I called him, he already what knew happened? what to say. Because she called him. Number. She told him what to say, like, oh, Marcel's so you call called you. this man. Yes, right. I called him. He he called like, did you have sex with my girl? And he also said, admitted oh, to this man that he was cheating on me. Wait, what exactly happened during this conversation? When you called him and you say what? He said, yeah, I had sex with her. I didn't mean for it to happen. And it was only for a couple of seconds. That's the same thing she said because she coached him into saying that. I didn't coach anything. And it only happened for a couple of seconds. Let me tell you how I know. I did feel bad. Let me tell you how I know. Not only did her friend, her co worker told me. Mr. Her Scott, Mr. told me. Let's get to some of your other reasons of why you doubt the paternity. It's of only because of him. Because of him. Because she lied. Just because of this man. Because she lied. To and then she told me, and then, while she pregnant, she said, I'm still having sex with him. He's a better daddy than you. I didn't say she that. Was, I said that because I know how to be dude. underneath his skin. It, it, it doesn't make he sense. Him, he still tries to you control cannot be doing... me throughout the last year that he disappeared on me. And then what happened to your relationship? After I admitted at cheating with him, he pretty much disappeared on me. I didn't, I didn't talk I to him for a long. I came back in October. Pregnancy. Came back in October, and that's when I started talking to other women that she knew about it. Okay, so at some point you discovered you're pregnant. Yes. And you let Mr. Scott know. Yes. I actually had an IUD and I removed it to yeah. get pregnant because we planned honestly. True, true, true. Oh, we so did hold plan on. on. Oh, true, true. Yes. So you all decided you wanted to have a baby together. True, true. Now when she took the IUD out. But when you tell him. You're pregnant. He denies it. Yes, and then it he, went down he disappeared. I didn't disappear. He my disappeared. number was the same. He changed I didn't his go number. Back out there. I put on Facebook. Yeah. I said I cannot. I can't wait to find out what we are having. Two seconds later, he deactivated his whole Facebook because he didn't want anybody to know that I was pregnant. Find out you're pregnant. At that point, do you think that you all are going to raise this baby together? You're posting on Facebook. I, I can't did. wait to find out what. We're having, that I means did. you and Mr. I did. Scott. I did. I did. I thought that we were going to get past what had happened. We were talking about getting past it and get, getting over it. At what point did he then in some way indicate that he had doubts or he didn't want to be a part of the child's life? Once I told him I was pregnant, we fought for about another month afterwards, and then he changed his phone number on me, his Facebook, everything. He changed everything on me. I didn't I talk change. to Marcel until address. I was like I have the same address. eight or nine months. I had sent you pictures. Because you I told never received me to. Them. Yeah, you did I receive them received because your them. girl told me that your mama called you and said, hey, you have a letter here. 
oh, just throw it away. And those were honestly the ultrasound pictures. And I never dead got no pictures. You knew I, was I never them. got no That's pictures. That's why your girl told all. me. Your girl told me that. All right, you no received pictures. them and threw Ms. them away. Miss Smith, you have a witness, ma'am. Could you please step up? She ain't a it witness. is I'm finally like 10 minutes. time for you to speak. <laughs> I'm middle like 10 I'd minutes. like to hear from you. It's a Miss Luzinski, right? Correct. Now, what do you have to add to this? That he's a deadbeat? Tell me again. He comes to Michigan. Crystal paid for everything. She didn't pay he for was everything. so controlling. I offered for them to stay at my house so they didn't have to spend no money. He said, oh, no, I got this. I'll pay for the hotel. Well, it turns around, Crystal paid for the hotel. He would not let Crystal leave the hotel. We had family cookout so that he could get to know the family. And, oh, no, he didn't want to go. He wanted to stay in the hotel. He, Crystal wasn't allowed to go because he came there to see Crystal, and she, she had to stay there and see him. He was only here for a little bit of time. He didn't want to meet the family. He was... When he finally did come out to see the family, my boyfriend's got a son with somebody else. He was so rude to him that my boyfriend, we left. Because he, boys are bo gonna be boys, they're gonna play rough. He yelled at his son and said, take that baseball bat somewhere else. Who the hell you think you are? Don't bring that around me. My boyfriend got in that. his face because he, is, he wants to control everybody. He thinks, he wants, he's from Hollywood, face. so he thinks that he's this big hot shot dude no, and everybody has to respect him. He ain't nobody. They, people in Saginaw, homeless people in Saginaw have something? more respect than he does. Can I say something, please? Can I say he something, please? Nobody. Thank you for that. You may be seated, ma'am. Thank you. So, Ms. Smith, you paid for everything. Yes, I did. Travel did expenses not. and the hotel. Yes, I did. Do you have receipts or some type of evidence yes, I do. that uh, outlines what you paid for? Yes, I do. Jerome, could you hand me that sure. other folder? folder, please? <laughs> Thank you. All right, so you've got a round trip bus ticket from Palmdale, California to Flint, Michigan, $498. <laughs> Hotel expenses for $461. She just Surely, she just print that the out. big man from California didn't ride the bus all the way to Michigan. <laughs> Mr. Man. Hollywood Hotshot over here. Man. You were really looking for love. Yeah, man, hey, man, hey, it was a long trip, Your Honor. And very then long, a four, one five days. way return yeah, she, it, yeah, she was worth it in the beginning. Yeah, she was worth it. A one way return it, flight you know from Detroit, Michigan to Burbank, California for $131 <laughs> and hotel for $410, the total $1,500. Ah. Mr. Scott, I'll yes, give you a yes. chance. Um, your podium's looking mighty empty, but I don't do you need have no documents. I don't need no documents. The truth is right here. You yeah, paid true. for as it relates to this trip. Well, if I knew all this was gonna come down, then I would have prepared myself a little more. You should have prepared yourself. But it don't even matter because I don't even need Mr. no documents. Scott, you're I don't in need court. Documents. This is your third time you're in court. Well, I don't need no documents. <laughs> that you're before me. It don't, it don't matter. I pay. I, I pay my now, part. Now you it don't know matter. good and well. I was gonna like ask I know. you. In light of this, it's cool. where's the agreement that he was supposed to help you pay or you were loaning him this money? It was a mutual it thing. Was a mutual I was with her for eight months. Because she we was in together, love with we me as well. Him. I was in love with her. Oh, she was going to so have to Mr. move to California Scott, anyways. So you're saying that it was an agreement that you all were going to go in half on these expenses? That's what we did. That's what we did the whole time. You are actually in your testimony validating exactly what she stated, is that she paid for a certain number of expenses. She paid now, for me to come back home. you don't have that. any proof that you paid for anything because I'm subtracting the $131 one-way ticket back that she spent for you because that trip you guys did have. You paid to see her and she spent the money to get you back. True. I don't have any evidence from you that you contributed to the $498 <laughs> bus ticket. I don't have any evidence from you that says you uh, paid half of the $461 in hotel expenses. Right. And I also don't have any evidence from you that you paid half of the $410 hotel expenses. I don't so my that was ruling my woman. is for the defendant That's on this counterclaim in the amount of $684.50. That was you my woman. You owe her. <laughs> How? That was you my owe woman. Her. Wait, 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 wait. It was a mutual agreement. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. Don't try well, to fall back. Well, I want to count no, for no. all my pain Mr. and suffering. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, stop talking. You're not going to talk your way out of this. You <laughs> talked your way into the debt. You're not wow. going to talk your way out of owing it. Wow. See, what you don't understand is I've heard 
heard you ramble on before. I know you can be charismatic. I know you can yap, 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 yap. But the problem is you yap, yap, yap yourself right into trouble. <laughs> can I say something? $684.50, pay it. Sure. I'm ready for the DNA results. Can you hand me the envelope, please? Really? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Scott versus Smith, as it pertains to three month old Honesty Smith, Mr. Scott, you are her father. Told you. Couldn't keep their legs closed. Take care of your baby. Keep their legs closed, sweetie. Take care of your baby now. Now, Mr. Scott, this is the third time you have been in front of this courtroom. <laughs> the last time we were together, I looked you dead in your eye and asked you, I'm not going to see you again, am I? Man, I had to take care and of business. And you said no. He'll be back next year. And I'm going to say this, and I'll leave it be. All of you all want to start these online relationships? It's cool. Just make sure and, you know. Without Never seeing again. someone in person? <laughs> and I don't know. He led you straight to the water, Miss Smith, and you just drank up the river. Your first sign was when you knew he was going to get on a bus. <laughs> From California to Michigan. Look, I'm from Michigan. I know how long that trip is. You from Flint? When he's going to get on a bus, you knew right then. You should have politely put your little coins back in your purse. Look, and signed on off the internet. Are we she clear? Couldn't. She couldn't. Are we clear? Yes. Now you all take care of that beautiful baby. Ms. Kyles, you have opened your case to prove to the defendant that her deceased son, James, is your 14-month-old daughter Ava's biological father. You state that you know the defendant is in pain due to the loss of her son, but so are you. Yes, And Your want Honor. nothing more than to give her closure. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Light, you say, Ms. Kyles is a pathological liar, and you claim that as much as you would love for a piece of your son to be here, you don't trust that baby Ava belongs to him. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Kyles, you say that you are hurt too. Explain. Miss Light is the only one that's hurt. I'm hurt too. That's my child's father. She wasn't a mistake. We planned her and me and him was together. That was my boyfriend. And I loved him. He loved me. And he loved his daughter. We were his family, so I understand she's hurting. That's her son, but... Me and Ava are hurting, too. Ms. Light, I'm sorry for the loss of your son. Thank you. I know this is extremely difficult. Very. Ava's 14 months old. Correct. Have you formed a bond with her? Yes. That's my heart. <laughs> my son was raising her. If she wasn't with my son, she was with me. I love But... But... The doubt is still eating away at you. It's killing me. It was just a lot going on. He came to me so many times, hurt. After he moved her to Oklahoma and got everything furnished, another man answered the phone and tried to claim to be Ava's father and be in her life now and all his other stuff. And that's why. So another man answered the phone and told your son, I'm Ava's father, and I'm in her life now. And he, he yeah, the baby wasn't even born yet. And so, Miss Kyles, did another man answer the phone? That never happened. Me and James never had any fights or arguments about any females, any males. I was hormonal. I was going through a lot. I was stressful. Our arguments never been about other people in our relationship. And That's so why not... would he make this up with his mother? I, I mean, what, what motive my... would he have to... Because he was mad because I, I wasn't letting him around me. When I was pregnant with, with her, I didn't let him around me. I, he went back to... Sh I was in Oklahoma. He, he moved back to Chicago. 
He was trying to reach out to me and I kept ignoring him and I wasn't answering his calls. He was calling my grandmother. I wasn't, I told her don't answer her phone because I didn't want to deal with him. And from my understanding, he didn't move back to Chicago. He was kicked out. From my understanding, he came to go to a court date that he had in Chicago and that's when he found out he no longer had a home in Oklahoma. His stuff had been supposedly thrown out and what wasn't thrown out, the man supposedly kept what he wanted. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. He got mad because I don't like everybody in my house. He brought some other guy with him to my house. I told him, I don't want anybody in my house. My child is, I have, I'm, I'm irritated right now and I have my three, my two year old here. I don't want anybody in my house. He, he furnished the house, he can't bring whoever he wanted here. I said, no, you can't, just steal my house. My name is on the lease. So I said, you can't come in, lock my door. He can't come in. He kept calling my phone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it happen, but why, why, you, why you just got me out here like this? I said, I don't want anybody in my house. I told you that. Respect me. All right, so you were having relationship issues in terms of boundaries you set yeah, for your home. that was always And this was all happening when you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. Take me to the point at which Ava was born. Was Mr. Miller with you at the hospital? No, it was just me and my two-year-old daughter. And you were still in Oklahoma? Yes. Did you call him to say the baby's being born? No, Your Honor. He would have been there. He would have been there. That's something he would have never wanted to miss. When do you let him know that the baby's here? I decided to give Ava away to a family member, and she named Ava Skyler. Why are we calling her Ava? Because that's the name that me and James wanted to name her. Okay. She took her back to Chicago. A week later, I wanted my baby back. She didn't want to give her to me, so I had to call my mother to get her back. She got her immediately. My mom went to go get her. My mom dropped Ava off to Miss Lighthouse, where James was staying at. Okay. Did the birth certificate ever get changed? Is Ava on no. her birth certificate? or is she, she... Me and James were on the phone. We discussed this. Only me and him. No one knew about this. Only me and him. But did he, he, he know knew, you he were after, planning to give no. the baby up for adoption? He knew afterwards. When I got her back after that week, I called him on the phone and said, I'm sorry I did this. Me and him had to talk about it. Me and him both were crying on the phone. He said, I still love you. We're going to get through this. Honestly, we, I think we, we my need son to get her died back. not knowing his baby's biological name. Because my son had tatted on his face Ava Jache. My son would have told me something. My son would have got the baby's name changed if he had known. We couldn't get her name changed because we were living in Oklahoma. They said we had to wait till she turned one years old to get her name changed. He died in May. Her birthday was in August. He was raising her before then. <sighs> he was raised, she was with her daddy. Y'all was in Illinois at this point. She was with her father when he <laughs> passed away. She was in a car. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. What happened? All I know is something happened. Some uh, girls arguing and another guy came and shot my son. And the girl t tells me that all she could do was try to pull him into the car and drive off. And they kept shooting, so I know it was God, but I don't know what stopped the bullet hole from hitting my grandbaby other than God, because it was a bullet hole that either the door or her car seat stopped it from hitting her. Dear God. <sighs> the only reason I know that, because I seen it on the news. And so your son was raising her. He was her dad. She he, was yes. in the car with your son. Yes. He in the driver's seat, she in the back seat in the car seat. I just came and got her from me. So you all were raising this baby. Like, this is your biological grandchild, this is your son's child, and he had her name tattooed on his face. On oh, his face, Did Ava. he ever tell you that her legal name was Skylar? No, Your Honor, no. How did you son, even I, find out? We were supposed to, I kept asking about doctor's appointments because I feel like she needed her shots and things like that. And that was the last thing me and my son talked about when he came and got her that day too. Also, besides her birthday that was coming up, 
she wanted to talk to me in person, I do believe, to t let me know. I was supposed to take her to a doctor's appointment and then we didn't make it to that doctor's appointment and I received the test. Letting me know that she didn't have to tell me this, but my grandbaby name is not Ava Jashay. Her name is Skylar Angel. And that's how I found out a couple of weeks ago mm. on my son's obituary and everything is Ava Jashay Miller. But in fact, her name was Skylar Angel and she did not have your son's last Mary name Miller, either. No. And, and my you... son would have... He was a good father. Can nobody take that from him? He did everything for his baby. Cash, milk, clothes, everything. Everything for that baby. Everything. For, for uh, Memorial Day. He asked me, um, he brought her clothes and stuff over there. Mama, can you um, do, the, do her hair in a couple of ponytails? Because he didn't allow nobody to touch her hair. Couldn't touch them curls. You couldn't touch, <laughs> you couldn't touch her hair. And she hung out with grandma. She was with, she was with me. You never received any word from your son that we discussed it, Miss Kyles and I, and we, 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 we decided that we're going to name her this, but her name is actually something else. No. I think my son died thinking his, her name was Ava Jashe Miller. And you believe she has a different name because another man is her biological father? Yeah, I think it's possible. I mean, the situation where she said it never happened, where some man answered the phone. Um, situation when I had to go find my grandbaby one day, <laughs> and uh, the guy that answered the door to me, he try to favor my son. He even got the tat, some tat tatted over his eyes. Him and, him and James met before they met. And so you felt like the guy looked similar to your son? Somewhat. Not as handsome, but <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. And so you felt like the baby also... The eyes. <clears throat> ...looked like the other man? The eyes. And yeah. so when you got the baby that day and you took her with you. Mm -hmm. Were you thinking in that moment, yeah. Lord, is this my son's yes. child? <laughs> yes. Did you talk to Miss Kyles about how you felt? No, not really. And so even knowing the difference in the name, even knowing that you picked up the baby and he was, she was with this other young man, you still held out hope that this is your grandchild and your yes, son's my child. Son loved, that's my son loved her to death. To death. But now you're afraid to really get attached to the baby. I don't know exactly everything they was going through. You understand? I wasn't there all the time. I could only know his side. When he, when she was out there, when she went out there, my son asked me to call her and get close to her. She didn't respond to my text messages. She didn't respond to my effort. So for her to say she felt like she didn't have anyone, she would have had someone if she would have responded and got to know me. She didn't have to get that baby away because that baby was, would have been and is well taken care of. I just want that to be my grandbaby so we can do the right thing and get her name what it's supposed to be. Ava, Jashay Miller, and that meant so much to my son, and that's why I know it, because I lost a daughter, and her name was Ashaya. She was 15. That was, they was very close. So that's where her name come from, Ava Jashay. My baby needs us. She needs me, she needs her grandmother. She needs us, and this is not how James would want it to be. It's not. It's not. I don't want to have animosity. But I don't I want to argue. But you do understand, Miss Kyle, that Miss Light's position is she wasn't around you all in the relationship. Her son expressed doubt. He expressed that he had experiences that led him not to fully believe that this child is his biological child, and yet he loved this child. But James and never, James it. never ever once denied Ava. Never once denied Ava to me. Never once said that to me at all. When but you do understand that she's having a difficult time believing that. James would ever allow 
able to have a different name, to be named Skylar uh-huh. and this uh-huh. entire... I told him, I said, don't tell your mom because I don't know how she will react. So just keep it between me and us. Me. My son knew Just me. keep it between me and us. He knew I would have did what it takes to get whatever done that needed to be get done. I know how to fix... I know how to, I know how to take care of things. That's what I know well, how to well, do. Well, obviously, he wanted to keep it to himself and just me and him because if, if he wanted to tell her, he would have told her. Obviously, he just wanted to, me and him to just take care of our business as a, a father and a mother. But you do understand how all of these facts group together, it creates doubt. Do you understand that, Ms. Kyles? There's a lot going on in this beautiful little girl's short life. And then she... I gotta change. She don't know... She she don't know Skylar. So Ava doesn't even know her name is Skylar. No. No. She knows Ava Jache. That's what everybody calls her. Everyone. I can't... I don't want to... I can't lose nobody else in my life. I'd have lost the daughter. I'd have lost the son. I can't lose nobody else. I can't. And my daughters, they would... They would it'll break them, too. They already hurt. Oh. I just... want this to be my grandbaby and get this done and over with and get her name changed to what it's supposed to be. Miss Kyles... I'm about to go to the results. Before I do, I just want to make sure that there is not any other piece of testimony that you've left out that you would like to share or you feel like you need to share. No, Your Honor. I said my truth. I think it's time we get the results. Yes. Jerome? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Kyle's versus Light, when it comes to 14-month-old Skylar, Ava, It has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between Ms. Light and Skylar, Ava, is 99%. You (laughs) are related. Oh, thank you. We can do what we gotta do and get her name. I'm very happy I could deliver this result today. Thank you. Me too. Very happy. (laughs) Not just for both of you ladies, but for Ava and for James. Yes. And I hope he's smiling in this moment. (laughs) Yes. 